Hey everyone and welcome. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. And today I'm going to be doing a quick guide on pom-poms. Just kidding. I'm going to be doing a guide on shields in Tinkertown. So I recently had a friend of mine who asked me when they watched one of my videos, hey, what's that uh, round thing that your character is holding? And that kind of prompted me to think, hey, maybe I should do a quick guide on shields in this game. So with that, today I'm going to be discussing uh, a little bit on how to get the different shields in the game and the different armor values that they have to offer your characters. If you haven't already seen, go to my channel afterwards and make sure to check out my videos to do with the different armor and weapon sets, uh, some of the best ones that you can get in the game so far to date. And with that, let's head on over to the workshop and check out my guide on shields. So shields are quite an important piece of gear to both help round out your armor set and increase your armor value in this game. Increasing your armor value in this game is important for a couple of reasons. One of which is because some of the encounters that you come across within Tanker Town, uh, some of those enemies can be pretty tough and they will hit you down uh, and knock you to zero hit points pretty quickly. The higher your armor value on your character, the less damage you take from them. Uh, and that being said, at the start of this game, your character only starts with a base level of 100 hit points. That adds up pretty quickly when you're getting hit by some of the tougher enemies in this game. The only real way to increase your hit points in this game is to find the items, the more rare items, uh, like for instance these Captain's Bracers, uh, in some of the tougher dungeons. So that being said, if I've missed anything, because I'm compiling this list today of basically my in-game playtime of what I've uncovered and a little bit of some of the research I've done on the internet. There's not a ton out there so I grabbed what I could. If you're playing this game and you happen to know something that I've missed in today's video please drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear and be able to know if there's something that I'm missing that I can go get and to help basically others out who might be playing this game. So with that let's get on to today's list of shields. Alright, so I did a little bit of research and scouring on the internet and uh, comprised a bit of a list here that I'm going to try to go through with the different shields uh, in relevance to their armor values. So with that, I've got them all created in my inventory here. I did them up earlier and I'm going to show you guys the armor value per each shield as you go along. And I'll give you a bit of a guide as to how to make them. So we're going to start off with the wood shield. So take this one off as it's kind of currently the best one that I have so far. Uh, so your wood shield is going to run you 10 wood and one leather and can be crafted in the workbench and currently offers you four armor. Next up we got the bone shield which is going to run you 10 bones and one leather and can be crafted in the bone workbench over here. And currently offers you a score of five armor points. So armor just went from 35 to 40. And next up we've got the green iron shield. And this one here is going to run you five iron bars, one leather, and three green jelly which can be obtained from killing the green slimes in the world of Tinkertown. Uh, this bad boy can be created in the anvil. And has actually, I found, a chance to drop on some of the enemies out in the Tankertown world. Now, if you are lucky enough to get this to drop for you, it's a great little shield early on in the game. And, I mean, at the end of the day, you're saving all those resources, which is kind of cool. Especially when iron is a little bit more scarce to find at the beginning of the game. Uh, so that's your green iron shield. And next up, we've got the cactus shield. So your cactus shield is, you guessed it, going to run you five cactus pieces and two leather and can be crafted in the workbench. And this thing is going to give you an extra eight armor score. And that is your cactus shield. Next up we've got our turtle shield. And your turtle shield is a little bit tougher to get. It can be found from uh, killing turtles in the desert bile and it's going to run you 10 turtle shells now turtle shells are a little bit more rare to drop they don't have such a high drop rate when you kill the turtles so it is a little bit uh, uh, a little bit more of a grind to make but this bad boy is going to get you 12 armor added onto your armor score so not too bad if you want to go out and grind it 
And that's your turtle shield. And next up, we're going to pull up our chitin shield. So I was currently running with this one up until I got the ice shield. And this one, again, is a bit more of a grindy kind of shield as you got to go out and grind 10 chitin, which really drops mostly from scorpions and the antlions in the desert or the desert dungeon. Um, combine that with one leather in the workbench and you got yourself a chitin shield. And this one is going to give you an extra 14 armor points to your armor. It's not too bad of a shield at all, but a bit of a grindy price to it. Uh, and nextly, one of the last ones we've got, currently the last shield that I've obtained so far, which is going to be the ice shield. Now this one is another bit of a one that's kind of grindy. Uh, you need 10 glacial shards, which I previously did a video on some glacial shards and how to obtain them. If you haven't checked that out already, be sure to head on over, check that out, quick video out. Uh, glacial shards are used in a few different crafting materials, mainly your ice armor, which is some of your best armor that you're going to get in the game. And as I said, this thing's going to run you 10 glacial shards and one leather and can be crafted in your refrigerator. And Yes, I said crafted in your refrigerator. So Tinkertown, you craft all your ice uh, armor and shields and weapons in your refrigerator. I love the sense of humor. Uh, so your ice shield is going to get you an extra 16 points of armor added on to your armor score. And with that, there's one more shield. I currently don't have it. I do hope that I can get it. It's a rare drop and it's the Warden's Shield. Now, the Warden's Shield is... An amazing shield that is going to get you an extra 15 health. So if you've got it, it's going to get you an extra 15 points on your hit point pool up here. And it gives you 18 uh, armor score as well too, which is another bit, a couple more points bigger than what you've got with the ice shield. However, that one is a pattern drop only, which drops off the gods of death in the desert dungeon. So you got to kill a bunch of them and hope that that pattern drops. Hopefully, at some point, I'll be able to do uh, a, a bit of a tutorial on getting some of those pieces, like what I'm sporting here with the Captain's Bracers, which is what's got me my extra 10 hit points here. That's really currently one of the only ways you're going to get extra hit points in this game. So with that, that's going to do it for today's video with, uh, with the shields. So I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. And if you did so, and if you found that it helped you out, Maybe you're new to the game. Hopefully you're you're trying this out because it is a fantastic early access game. Having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's got a very affordable price point on Steam. And you guys should definitely check it out. And if you did find yourself finding this helpful and you enjoyed it, please drop a like for me. Uh, super appreciative of all the support I get. It's amazing. You guys are amazing. And I hope you guys have an awesome day.